Hi guys, some bad news regarding the Road to Liberty project. That is the project that aimed to bring Fallout 3 to the Fallout 4 engine. Basically, it's been cancelled. The project lead for the Road to Liberty project did release a statement over on Twitter, and I will leave a link down to it below, and of course you can see it on screen right now. But the too long didn't read version of it is there are some problems in using the audio files from Fallout 3 in this project. They could face serious legal problems. Now, I am not a legal expert, and so I may be getting some things wrong, but as far as I can understand, the problem isn't simply that Bethesda won't give them permission to use those files, but it's more the fact that Bethesda cannot give them permission to use those files. Uh, Bethesda have the rights to use the voice lines and the audio that they, you know, paid for in the Fallout 3 game, but they don't have permission to use it anywhere else, so they certainly don't have permission to grant other people permission to use those resources. At least that's, that's what I'm understanding. If I am getting that wrong, I do apologize. But it seems to be an issue that Bethesda can't even get around. It's not like they can just say, you know what, let's let them do this. They just don't have the authority to do that. They cannot grant other people permission to use the voice acting lines from Fallout 3 or the music and possibly even the ambient sounds as well. And so basically none of the original audio can be used and they would have to use Fallout 4 ambient audio. They would have to either use Fallout 4 music or have new music created and they would have to re-record all of the voice dialogue or have completely silent voice dialogue obviously but that really would I think spoil the uh, the mood quite a bit and unfortunately they really don't like the idea of re-recording the voice acting it's it's not the generic NPCs they worry about it's the iconic voices such as Liam Nielsen, Malcolm McDowell, Ron Perlman and of course as he mentions the phenomenal Eric Todd Dellums uh, they would they would basically not be able to use those lines and so they really didn't want to do it and thus they've decided to actually just uh, halt work on this project so i'm afraid there's there's no there's no nice way to say it there's no way to make this sound better than it is it sucks we're not going to get fallout 3 on the fallout 4 engine at least not unless something major changes and they are allowed to use this audio, which I really don't think can happen, let alone will happen. Or they decide to just completely redo the entire audio, and that, that's a huge job. That is a massive job, and at the moment they don't seem like they want to do that. And I'm not sure I blame them either. I think they had their heart set on the, the true Fallout 3 experience, and uh, that's just not going to happen. Without those key voices, it probably wouldn't quite be the same. So that pretty much sucks for everybody, really. It sucks for us, the people who wanted to play it. It definitely sucks for the team who spent a lot of time and invested, you know, a big part of themselves in this project. I, I don't really see any clear winners in this particular scenario. But I, I, at the same time, I don't think anybody's the clear bad guy. As I've said, I get the feeling this is just one of those, those situations where there really are not a lot of ironclad legal ways to get this handled. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking, well, how does that affect other such projects? And the answer is we're not totally sure. I know some of them are avoiding this by totally and utterly recreating everything. I know Skywind, for example, is not using any resources from the original game. And, you know, I'm hoping that will make them a little safer. But of course, who knows? I think we are in a bit of a legal gray area here. And I have a feeling a lot of the big players, for example, like Bethesda, just would rather not touch this with a barge pole. It's kind of like this is this this is one of those scenarios where I have a feeling they can't win. Nothing they do is going to be right. They can't give permission, 
but they probably don't really want to come in and be the bad guy and slap everyone down. So they're probably just, you know, look, squirrel, and then run. Um, you know, I, 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 I get the feeling that this is just one of those scenarios where everybody involved hates the way it's had to be resolved. So now, now you can join them and feel it sucks too, because I know I do. So anyway, there you go, guys. Bad news. Sorry about that. Uh, please don't shoot the messenger. I'm sure you won't. Uh, try to remain civil to each other in the comments, because I, I know you're disappointed, but let's try not to uh, be horrible and start trying to blame everyone. As I've said, I get the feeling in this scenario, no one's really to blame. It's just, just one of those things. Just, we're not going to get around it, which is unfortunate.